Remember www.teresaromer.com, 50% off all TR Beauty products. Get yours now. Hey, peeps! Still in gorgeous Cabo, enjoying yet another fabulous day. Got so much content for you. We're breaking this up into part one, part two, part three. So I hope you're ready for some more. Look at this lovely hair. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm in my jammies out here on the beautiful large wraparound patio. Yeah, wraps all the way back there to the breakfast eating area. But anyways, off to another beautiful start, to another beautiful day. So hang in there with me, <clears throat> stay with me. Um, God, it's just gorgeous how they manicure and take care of all the landscaping around here. Like I've sat here and watched this guy every morning just like his job is to water it's like they don't have sprinkler systems he just hand waters every single thing it's amazing i guess everybody's got to have a job right <laughs> so and people are just out there perched in the pool already and i'm i'm telling you they stay there all day so let's get on with today's video good morning peeps Oh, uh, our last morning in Cabo. Sitting out here having my morning coffee. Watching them set up for the day. Watching people pick their chairs already. <laughs> it's amazing how people get in the pool already. Like, I wonder if she's going to be there all day. Lots of sunscreen, I hope. Anyways. Enjoying our last beautiful morning here before we head to the airport today. I think the private SUV is picking us up at noon or 12.30, something like that. Or 1. 1, I think. I think we're gonna order breakfast in the room today, have a late breakfast. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I highly recommend this resort, guys. It is beautiful, the staff is amazing. It's been great, it's been great. So, let's get on with today. Loving my time here in Cabo, guys. It is beautiful, it's serene. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wish you guys were here with me. Heaven, here it comes. Oh, little tiny, little tiny waves. Heaven, gorgeous, heaven. A while ago, I had big, massive waves. These are little baby waves. Heaven, relaxation. Yes, loving Cabo. You know, sometimes vacations aren't about how much you can do or how much you can see on that trip or on that vacation, but sometimes it's about how much you unplug how much you relax, how much you take in 
the beauty of where you're at. Sometimes it's just just unplugging, un, 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 winding, relaxing, laying on a beautiful patio, reading a good book. I can't even tell you the last time I actually had time to set and stare at the ocean. this amazing first trip for Lamar and letting you see how in awe we are that he's able to travel again. It's a little bit of a struggle, but we're, we're managing it. But sometimes it's just so incredible to just take in this beautiful world that we live in. I love the ocean. Absolutely love the ocean. It's so peaceful, so tranquil. unique looking caprese salad. It's got a basil cream underneath of it with very soft mozzarella. Very good. Lamar got a cute little Caesar salad. These amazing breadsticks and hot hot bread. Very yummy. Can't wait for our main course. Got an amazing seafood fettuccine. He's giving me fresh ground pepper. A little more. <laughs> Thank you. And Lamar got lasagna. Mm -hmm. A lot of cheese. Lasagna. Yum, yum, yum. Can't wait to dig in. So we ordered the tiramisu, which is going to be made here at the table. Oh, look at this little cup. Okay. Yeah. Yes, look at that. 
Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Yummy. Look at all this cactus. Look at all the cactus. No way. No, you gotta go up here to the elevator. So that's Blanc stage, that's a bar. And then, and then Blanc fire is down there, which is the outside bar. So it's very, very, very lit up. You can set up here, you can set down there. of this whole place yet. Oh, I, now I know where I'm at. Okay, up there's the main lobby. Okay, okay. So now this is all where we just left overlooks the whole pool area. Okay, here we go, walking back to the room. So, <laughs> It's still going on over there. So the darker area is the quiet bar down there. And then the loud one was inside there. And then that one up there is outside the um, restaurant area where we were eating. But I don't know if it's a private party or what. So anyways, and there, the darker area right there is the quiet bar area. And those were the stairs we walked past where the loud bar, where they were doing the karaoke and stuff is inside there. So yeah, anyways. Anyways, more than Lamar wanted to do and deal with. So we're back in our room having a quick cocktail before we call it a night. Gosh, tomorrow's our last full day here. And then Monday, around one o'clock, that private SUV comes back and gets us and takes us back to the airport. So anyways, definitely this trip has been a learning experience, a learning curve, and we'll see where it takes us from here. Good morning, peeps beautiful fabulous day here in Cabo hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday fun day get out there and live your best life yes it's gonna be another gorgeous day I had to get down to the pool early to grab your seats like everybody like seriously they get down here early. I think I was looking down here at 6.30 and there were already people grabbing spots. Like everywhere you see stuff, there's people already grabbing their spots. So of course I got down here, got our spots right here on the end so Lamar has easy access in and out. Put our stuff down, run back up to the room drink my ketones, get my husband out of bed, and get ready to have another fabulous day here in Cabo. Gorgeous morning. Sun sparkling on the ocean. Waves crashing up. Sound of the ocean. So calm, so relaxing. Heaven. Here it comes. Oh, little tiny, little tiny waves. Heaven. Gorgeous. 
heaven. A while ago, I had big, massive waves. These are little baby waves. Heaven, relaxation. Yes, loving Cabo. Hello, beautiful people. Another glorious day here in Cabo. I hear lots of noise, but I don't know where it's coming from. Anyways, got my beautiful travel beach bag. Yes, I switched out. I decided not to go with the big pink Louis Vuitton. I decided to do a different one. Sorry, I just hit the elevator button. So anyways, got another cute swimsuit on. I don't know if you can see it through the mesh top. Headed to the pool. Oh, going into the elevator. Going down to the pool. Got the amazing sunglasses on. So anyways, um, headed down to the pool. You know what that means? That means it's Bloody Mary time. Let's get the party started. Ooh, all kinds of fun stuff happening today. Okay. Anyways, here we go. You know, it's funny that Cabo is considered in the desert and to be dry, but it is very, very, uh, very humid. Um, when I'm in Texas, it seems like it's humid, which it is, but this is a totally different kind of humid, I guess because it's right here on the ocean. But anyways, gorgeous day, gorgeous day. I think the exercise class already happened. I missed it because I was upstairs dealing with Lamar. So we might as well just go make the best of it and land at the pool lounge chair that I've already got set up for us. So let's go see if we can get that Bloody Mary. So we got poolside chicken nachos, Bloody Mary, Coke. What'd you get? Hot dog. Hot dog and French fries. Chili dog. Chili dog? Chili dog. And then he had a virgin pina colada. Yeah. Good food by the pool. Good company. Everyone's in the pool, cooling off. So a couple degrees cooler today. We're enjoying our lunch. Yes. Definitely more of an overcast kind of day. Themselves playing in the sand. look like they could just suck you in. So beautiful. So we talked a little earlier on the video about the importance of getting away I talk about how life is so much different now than it was for Lamar. But you know what? It's not always about everything being the same as it used to be. It's all about getting away, getting away from the norm, getting away from the everyday hubbub and stress and same day in and day out rituals that we go through. And sometimes it's good just to get away and just refresh, rejuvenate, recharge. And it's not all about how much you can cram in to a vacation. I'm just all about just relaxation. Relaxation, not having an itinerary, not trying to see how much you can cram in. Believe me, I've taken so many vacations where I have parasailed and jet skied and 
gone out on the sailboat and scuba dived and snorkeled and all of that. And sometimes it's just nice to unplug. It's just nice to not have to do any of that, to lay and read a good book, to lay and just spend time with your loved one and just relax, just almost be lazy, which I know very little of how to do, but this trip I've actually learned a lot more of how to do it because Lamar hasn't been able to do a lot. So instead of going off and doing things without him, I've opted to stay with him and uh, just veg. And it's kind of nice. I'm telling you, these waves, look at this. So relaxing. It's fun just to sit on the beach and listen to the waves come up. I've been down there in that before and it literally can pull you out faster than you can say hi. Like one minute you're standing there, the next minute it's got you off balance and pulling you out. But anyways, it's a red flag kind of day again. So nobody's really getting in the water. So anyways, guys, just wanted to jump on here, share another little bit of tidbit here. It's a little overcast today, which means it's a little cooler. Got a different swimsuit on today, walking down to the beach just to see how it's all going. So hope you're having a fantastic time. And we are going to head back up one of the outdoor restaurants there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. last video before we leave we are packed it is bright it is sunny you can tell it's a Monday because the pool is not quite as full as it usually has been since we've been here so this is probably the day more people are coming in because Sunday was when everybody leaves but we're leaving today so thank you Cabo it was fantastic it was great could not have asked for a better first trip. And you know, sometimes it's not all about getting that perfect picture and that perfect outfit while you're on that perfect vacation. Sometimes it's just about enjoying the moment. Enjoying the moment, guys. So with that said, thank you Cabo for a beautiful first time trip in a couple years with my adorable loving husband you made it very easy on him you were very accommodating and we will definitely be back okay we made it down to the lobby uh, I've got Lamar in the wheelchair got him down here we just checked out of course their job is to try to sell you to come back so we listen to their little spiel, um, but chances are, of course, they've got blackout dates at Christmas time, which is about when we want to come back, so we'll see. Anyways, um, beautiful resort, highly recommend it. He took very good care of us, top notch. And now we are on our way to the airport, waiting for our private car. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day, gorgeous. It's always gorgeous the day you're leaving, right? Yesterday was so overcast, but it was nice because it was cooler. So, anyways, um, dressed, 
for that trip home. Got the easy up hairdo today because I'm not fighting with everything. And um, how was your trip, Lamar? How was the trip? It was great. Same? Same? Trace it to you. So, anyways, um, let's get going to the airport so we don't miss our flight home. Can't wait to see my puppies. Yes. We are leaving the hotel. So, we are back in the car, headed to the airport. Lots and lots of building going on around here. Hard to believe that Mexico was cooler than Houston, Texas. made it to the airport. We are now headed onto an elevator because Lamar's in a wheelchair so we can get through security. Bye bye Cabo. Oh look at the restaurants down there. Nice. Just got through security. We are headed I guess we're gonna go through duty free again. Not like we need to buy anything to take with us back to Houston. <laughs> I don't think so. We need to find our gate. Get home. I miss my puppy dogs. Fernando's doing a great job getting Lamar through the airport. We so appreciate United providing amazing services for the less fortunate that are unable to maneuver the airports on their own. Newfound respect for them. Okay, let's find the gate. Oh, they got a tequila bar. And all kinds of Cabo paraphernalia. Let's see if I can get Lamar set down at the gate. Maybe I'll come back and get some t-shirts for everybody or something. Oh, look at the jewelry. Ooh. There you go. Let's check and see what gate we're at. Okay, I went in this cute, cute little store. It's got all this Mexican touristy stuff. And I got a couple hats for the boys a hat for Tashina and a t-shirt for Carolina. So we've got our shopping concluded with and done. So now get me some ice waters and set up the gate and we are homebound to Texas. So we are sitting here at the gate and um, getting ready to get on our airplane. Ran into our dentist again, sitting back there. I think they're on the same flight as we are. Maybe the same, maybe the same seat. Anyways, um, it's been fun, guys. I thought it would be fun to kind of bring you guys on this trip. I hope it's somewhat entertaining and not completely boring, because I know you guys all have the option to watch a lot of different people and a lot of different videos but I really wanted to document this trip as it was being Lamar's very first trip and how important it was to see how he was going to be able to do so anyways they are getting ready to board our plane so I'll see you guys back in Houston
in front of you, they completely ended in feet, keeping the area around your feet clear. Feel free to keep using a charger or frozen towel just to make sure they're in airplane mode and either placed in a pocket or held. If you're sitting in an extra row, please unplug all devices from the outlet. Flash and three bags of snow cover your seat belt, bring your hands up. Put away tray tables. If you could just your headrest, please move that back Let's into its original position. Let's go. Let's go. We're ready. Shut that door. Wow, I missed my dog so bad. I am already up and at it and filming and unpacking and doing laundry and all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed my trip. As 
you all recall throughout this entire video, I've basically said this trip was all about Lamar. This was all about getting Lamar's legs back under him, being able to travel again, getting his fears wiped out. Because I think when you've been through what Lamar's been through, and you've basically been sedentary and recovering and rehabbing and everything for two years, his fears were legitimate. I think they were very real. And I think this trip was exactly what he needed for him to understand that he can travel again. It's going to be okay. It might be a little different than what he was used to before, but we can do it. We can do it. So I hope you enjoyed all the video. It wasn't a razzle dazzle trip with tons of activities and tons of everything. It was just my trip, getting my husband back going. And you guys have been with me this whole time. You've seen the struggles. You've seen him go through everything. You've seen us go through everything. So I really just wanted to take you guys on this very first trip with us for you to see Lamar and see that Lamar was going to be doing okay. Because um, a lot of you were like, I don't know why you spend your money on this and that and that. Why don't you take your husband on some trips? Like I said, up until now, he hasn't been able to go on any trips. So he was finally cleared by his doctors. We finally booked this trip. We did this trip. And as you guys can see, it's still a long road, but we're, we're, we're back. So anyways, thank you for coming on the trip with us. I hope you felt like you were there with us. Can't wait to go on many, many more and take you along. So with that said, Make sure you check out uh, the rest of our summer sale that we've got going on with all the skincare products. Make sure you get over there and join the vault. We've got some exciting stuff coming up. Um, we're going to be doing some special giveaways coming up to only the people that are in the vault. You remember last year, we picked people that won tickets in the evening to the fashion show. Well, guess what, all that's coming up again. So we're going to be picking someone from the vault or maybe two people from the vault. We'll see. In that giveaway, we've got some other giveaways happening. So run over to the vault, join the vault. The information is below in the description box. And we've got such an amazing fall and winter planned with everything. So stay tuned, guys. It's so fun and so exciting. And uh, can't wait to share it with you guys. So thank you once again. Hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.